Hey guys, it's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be making an Easter card for my parents. They're in the other room so I have to lower it down a little bit. So like I said, I'm going to be making a card or Easter card for my parents since it is almost Easter in about like 18 or 15 days, maybe even less. And um, I just wanted to, you know, make some paintings for, or not paintings, some crafts for Easter. This is one of them. I'm only gonna do one of them, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. And let's get on to the video. Also, I'll tell you all the things you need. All right, guys. So for this, what you're going to need is some scissors, any type of scissors. You don't have to be big or small, just any type. Next, what you're gonna need is glue, any type of glue. You can use um, a glue stick or a glue a glue bottle. I really don't care, but the the less messier one is the glue stick so that's the one i'm going to be using but i'm gonna use the glue if i need it so let's put those to the side and next obviously we're gonna, you're going to need some papers mine are in rainbow order because i'm so bored and i didn't want to you know have them all messy so i just put them in rainbow order and yeah you're gonna need paper which i have a ton of and you can use stickers or you can just cut some out um or you can, if you do, you can cut them out in a perfect shape and, you know, use these. But these weren't really that expensive, as you can see. They were $1. My mom actually gave these to me last year for Easter. Um, they're kind of messy, but um, I'll tell you guys why you need them later. So, guys, the color paper that I'm going to be using for my background is a light blue card. And I'm also going to need some yellow paper for the basket. And if you want to add grass to your basket, then you can use light green, which I am going to use if I have light green. Yes, I do. It's right here. So let's take this. Actually, yeah. Uh, if I can find the paper. Okay, I'm going to use this one instead. I'm just to do an avocado out of it. So, um, that's yeah, so what she was doing. I literally found her in the middle night while I was sleeping. Using my paper when I was asleep. <laughs> Not knowing, but that was a couple of days ago. So, um, the colors that I'm using are light blue, green, and yellow, like I said. So, what you're gonna do, this is gonna be my base color since I want the sky or the background to be light blue. Use the background, it's any color you like, the ones you want. This is gonna be mine. I'm gonna move the little cam camera angle a little bit. So, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half. If you're really good with papers like me, you should have long nails or not long nails if you don't have any. But um, I'm really specific on my creases, so I like do them perfectly for me. So as you can see, you're gonna match it right on the exact end and try to get them to cooperate and fold it down the middle. So my video cut off, but basically I just folded it in the middle, as you can see, and flip it over. And when you open it, it's gonna say what you want it to say, and like, Happy Easter, and blah, 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 blah. But for now, I'm just gonna be working on the outside. So for this, you, this is optional. This part is optional. You can add grass if you want to. Like I said, it's optional. But I'm going to add it just for the purpose of this video and the person I'm giving it to, which is my parents. So I'm going to just be like cutting it out like triangular, like, hold on, let me see, let me find the little diagonals of this. So it starts right here and then, oops, let me scoot it a little bit up, it starts right here and then ends right here. So let's mark this with one of my color pencils, a white color pencil if we're gonna be talking. So basically I know that it ends right here. Right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be doing this like that and keep on doing it. So this is how my grass looks. It obviously doesn't look perfect, 
which is what I was going for. But basically, you're just going to have to glue this down so it looks like there is grass. I'm going to use the glue stick for this because, like I said, it's less messier. It's less messier. So let's just put glue on this bad boy. Every little crease. And stick it to the paper. Alright. Okay. So now that it is put down, as you can see, I'm going to scooch the camera angle a little bit over like this so you can see the whole paper. Um, it is like this. I'm going to close my glue stick because it keeps on falling. Um, this is how it looks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the basket part. Oops, it's falling. My tripod's falling off. Hold on, guys. I need to fix the thing call and fix this. Okay. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're basically going to cut, what is under here? My scissors, what a surprise. You're going to cut out on the shape of a basket. I'll do it right now for you guys. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna cut out a shape or trace the shape of a basket to someone that I like. <laughs> guys so this is the basket that i'm going to be using for this little video um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut it out and actually first before that i'm going to trace it with my marker i'm going to use my black marker so it can be bolded as you know i'm going to be using my short tip instead of my fine tip just because obviously i don't want it to be too big i don't want the basket to be too bulky and too huge so, let's draw the line or trace it. Alright, so now that I'm done tracing it, I'm going to put my marker away. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically erase all of the little pencil marks that I made. Um, so I don't see it in my basket since I don't want it to be like all messy and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to clean it, clean the basket or clean the page, whatever you call it. I learned this from like our teacher it was actually super helpful and useful so i don't have to keep on like messing up and stuff like that so i'm just gonna be erasing um i'm just gonna be erasing all the pencil marks that i made on this basket Ah! 
up guys so what i basically just did is i drew in all the little outlines or lines that were open so now this is the fun part we're going to be cutting it so i'm just gonna cut like a little box by itself so i don't have to get any of the excess paper away from it so now I'm gonna put this away and I'm basically just gonna cut the basket or yeah, basically cut it. So this is how my basket looks. I like the way it turned out. I really, really, really do. Um, so I hope you finished your basket. If you didn't, you can pause the video if you need to. And I can see now that I need to finish cutting this little area right here. Because obviously I didn't. Um, before, so. There we go. Now that it's cut, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue it to the basket or glue this to, or glue the basket onto the paper or the card, whatever you wanna call it. So, actually, wait a minute, pause, pause, pause. What I'm gonna do, this is optional guys, so if you don't wanna watch this part of the video, just skip forward. I'll put a time on the screen right here right there this time you can go to this is optional but if you want to you can watch the rest so this is for the optional part so if you want grass inside your basket just cut um a rectangle or a little long i don't know if you can see me can you see me yes you can you can now um right here so i'm just gonna cut along and then cut along right here basically till i hopefully it fills up the basket um so let's cut this okay so this is if you wanted grass so what you're gonna do is once you glue it down don't glue down the lid so Let's get gluing. Let's glue right here. All right. So, don't glue down the handle, basically. I'm going to leave a little bit of space right there so I can put the um, the grass part if you do want it to do or if you chose to do it. Um, so, I'm going to put it right here. Place it down like that. And as you guys can see, it's still kind of open. So, if it is still open or if you didn't close it all the way, let's hope you didn't um you're gonna put it right here basically till it covers some of the or till it covers and shows some grass so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna cut a little bit off right here right there and i'm gonna glue it i'm gonna glue this side down to or i'm gonna put some glue on the side and I'm basically going to glue it exactly where I just showed you where it fits in the basket. So let's do this. All right, so now I'm just going to push it down a little bit. All right, so there, that's how it is. So now, like I said, this is optional too. Let's wait for that a little bit. Let's um, let's glue this down first really quickly if you want to, or you can just leave it open. So let's do this like that. Or you can just do that because the glue, the glue will dry off. So 
there we go i like her looks right now so what i'm gonna do like i said this is optional the easter stickers that i have let's open them if they're not already open okay they are open so okay oops sorry guys the video paused i think we did it pause no Jenna, it's been 12 minutes all right so here are my stickers i i, I think i'm gonna do the pink one so let's get the pink one off all right and it has some confetti in it too confetti in it too which is super cool so let's put it like right here let's move it like a diagonal like how eggs would usually be placed in a little bin like that super cute not so cheap oh and it fell off so just for extra protection i'm gonna add some glue on it um because it already is sticky but it fell off so i'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't fall off this time this is how i want it to be got a little bit of glue on it right there so for this one i think i'm gonna add the little blue chick that is super cute that looks so adorable in the middle of course like this uh let's see if it falls off you know i'm still gonna add glue on it on this one too as well because i got it just in case i don't really want it to fall off when i give it to my parents so let's put this right here like that yes okay so for the last egg i think i'm going to be using purple because that's an egg i haven't used I see that between these two, and out of these, out of the purple ones, I like this one. So let's take it off and put glue on it. I was going for the glue stick. All right, spread it out, something like that. All right, so this is how it looks. This is how mine looks. Also, if you don't have these eggs, you can just use paper or you can cut it out with paper and put like a golden egg or paint it with a golden acrylic paint. If you have a golden acrylic paint, if you don't, you can just use like regular ones. But these aren't these aren't expensive. They're actually pretty cheap. They're a dollar at Dollar Tree. So you can go get them if you want to. You can also find them at Target. I don't know where my mom got these from. It looks like Target because Dollar Tree doesn't do that. Target does this, so let's put the rest of them away and also guys you can this is optional you can add a bunny if you want to i'm not because um i think that's i think that there's not that much space on mine but anyway you can just put like happy easter or whatever i'm gonna try to trace it happy So guys, this is how mine looks. Happy Easter. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I have my little color here. I'm gonna outline it like I said with black. Alright, so now that I'm done doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put polka dots all over my little card. So basically, I'm just going to be dotting dot, 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 dot. Basically, I'm going to be doing that with every single color that I have in my markers.
guys, this is how it turns out. I really, really love it. I really love how it turned out and I really like how beautiful it is. I will do more craft videos if you guys want me to, but this is how it finally looks at the end. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed because I certainly did. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below other videos I should do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.